Yo, what's up, everybody, and welcome to episode 27 of the Inferno Gaming Podcast. I'm your host, Blazed Inferno. If you're new to this show, hello, and thanks for coming by. And if you're a returning listener, you already know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got a good one here for you today. This is a this is a little different, kind of the same, but a little different. Today we're recording this podcast on February 16th, so my birthday passed. I mean, if you ain't wish me happy birthday, fuck you. But if, you know what I mean, you did, thank you. But I'm just playing on that, you know what I mean? Nah, fuck you. Keep listening to the podcast, please. That's a lie. And I have motherfucking three co-hosts with me today. You know what I mean? I got three of them, you know what I mean? I got, I got, you you probably see the title for this, and you're like, oh shit, this is a little different. Let me introduce my co-host to you. First one, you already know, my best friend. Always wants to talk about Halo. We got about 10 fucking Halo-related podcasts. Thanks Hello. to this man. Um, e 17 man. Shout out your socials, man. Let them know what's up with you. What's up, guys? It's me, e 17 And I dusted your fucking ass last week. <laughs> Happy fucking birthday. Enjoy those nuts on your chest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No pause. Whoa. Play. Chill. I, I got him. I, I got him first before y'all even played. What the fuck? Whoa! Pause. You got my that? nuts on your chest? No, I put my own <laughs> nuts on his chest. What the fuck? When did you establish this? What the Yo, fuck? Man. We we that wasn't the deal. What the fuck? Yes, you know? he beat. Yes, he beat me in a he beat me in a one one v one. I mean. Oh oh, so he beat you. Two no 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 he beat no contest, you. No contest. But. I mean, he's the victor. He's gonna probably do something with the so he dominates you. Something I don't know. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta edit it. The quality is gonna kind of suck because the Twitch VOD. Uh, I don't know. True, true, true. But, yeah, I, yeah. I, I noticed that. So Shout out your we'll, socials, man. Let them know what's up, man. Yeah, so you can follow me on Twitch at e night seventeen or one one seven, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, cou- at Couch Combat, where I do like kind of group gameplay stuff. And occasionally do like more longer form vids. Um, yes, sir. I just started streaming again, like actually getting into it. So I have a set schedule Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Um, like after like 8 p.m. usually. Yep, 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 yep. So check him out again at twitch.tv slash enight117. You know what I mean? And that will be in the description for the podcast video version all that i mean my second co-host most jacked asian in the world you already know i mean he thought he had turtle beaches but he just found out he got tortoise lakes you know what i mean cheap ass motherfucker dollar store mike you know what i mean rambo let him know what's up shout out your socials man damn man yo chill that's my new brand dog you you calling it cheap hey look that, that that's a good brand yo it's your boy rising rambo y'all already know discounts. follow Hey, 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 shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Y'all already know. Follow me on YouTube. Uh, I don't really post much on YouTube, but I will. Rising Rambo, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and fucking YouTube. And also follow me on Twitch. And I guess like you can follow my personal modeling page if you want. Feel free. I don't know. But uh Blaze, fuck you. Happy birthday. Much love. Lazy Blase. Um enjoyed that nut cake, man. Hope you enjoyed all the Y'all games. gotta chill, man. Like, this is... Just... Y'all getting a, a little too sus on these podcasts. Who said we were being sus? This is normal. This is normal. Behavior. Oh, yeah, I mean, right. check out my boy Rambo, man. His links will also be in the description in the bottom of the podcast video version. Whatever you're watching this on. And then my third co-host, I mean, or I should say our featured guest. I mean, she's not really technically a co-host. She's just a guest on the show today um, because I wanted to kind of highlight certain people within the community, um, on the Twitch community side at least, because, you know, I'm not a YouTuber. Um, So I wanted to bring somebody on that, um, you know, we've been working together. You've probably seen her up in my streams, up in my chats, you know what I mean? Super dope vibes. Um... Awake Vitani, man. Say not nah, sleepy Vitani. Tell them what's up, man. Shout out your socials, man. I mean, do do your little thing, man. The floor is yours, man. 
Good morning. My name is Sue Batani, and um, my handles are Sue Batani, and I'm on Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram, and TikTok, but I don't post anything on YouTube or TikTok yet. Um, nice to meet everyone. Yes, yes, yes. You may see her on here another time. We don't know, but this, this, you'll, you'll see in a minute. You'll see in a minute. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Make sure you check her out. Super dope streamer, um, content creator. Um, again, all everybody's links will be in the bottom of the video version and the podcast, wherever you're listening to. And you already know who I am. You should know who I am. You should, you should hear the voice and know you talking to a bitch. Yep. Facts. Blake, <laughs> bitch oh, ass. I, what? I gotta what? put my nuts on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast over. Thank you guys Happy for watching. Happy birthday. Welcome to the Blaze or the Infernal Gaming Podcast. This episode's name is Nuts on Inferno's Chest. Chill. I, actually I might actually name it that. I might actually name <laughs> Nuts on I, your I, chest. I, I kind of put it on his face. Whoa, man! Come on, dog. Harry always doing extra sus. Shit. Again, it's your boy Blaze Dex Inferno, man. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch at Blaze Dex Inferno. Make sure you follow me on Twitch.tv slash Blaze Dex Inferno, where I stream four to five times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and optional Sundays during the weekdays. I stream from six p.m. to whenever, and on Saturday it's eight p.m. So about 8 a.m. in the morning, you know what I mean? Because I'll be wilding out. Um, also want to give a shout out to everybody who came to my birthday stream last week on February 10th. It was super dope. I appreciate all the love. Um, it was a great success. I was supposed to stream for 12 hours. I ended up streaming for 17 hours and 53 minutes because it was so motherfucking lit. And we had such a good ass goddamn time. You dig? You dig? Thank you to everybody. Um too many people to shout the fuck out you know what i mean at one point my chat had i literally have 43 people watching i don't know how shout out to black hey, harley you know what i mean That's she did hit me with a raid you know what i mean shout out to her um but i just want to say thank you and i gotta get this out the way because i told my old head that i was gonna do this shout out my boy p miller man he said he was gonna do something for me and he ended up doing it you know what i mean shout out my boy p miller man i appreciate him thank you man for being dope um that's just a personalized shout out for him. I mean, my old head. He don't never watch the podcast, but I'm gonna play this part for him. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, as always, you already know you can take the show on the go with you. We're on, available on all fucking platforms. So you ain't got an excuse, dog. You can get on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, um, Anchor FM, all that shit. Listen to us. We dope. And if you're watching, on Apple Podcasts specifically, and I think Spotify as well. Make sure you rate the show five stars. It helps us out, um, gets us noticed. You know what I mean, stuff like that, man, because we growing um, and we're trying to grow even bigger this year. You know what I mean? So we got all the introductions out the way. Let's get into it. Break into the motherfucking meat of the podcast. So. It's Black History Month, you know what I mean? Very good month. You know what I mean? Very mm -hmm. good month. Um, and last podcast, I told y'all I was going to shout out 10 creatives within the community. I got them 10 creatives for you. I got them. I got 10 people that I think that y'all should check out and show love to and give them a follow all on Twitch. These are all Twitch streamers um, and YouTubers. I actually got two YouTubers. So we're going to start out with the most important one. I'm going to give a big shout out to my boy, um, Brock. You may see him in my chat a lot. Um, he's not a streamer. He's a YouTuber. He does four honor content. Super dope guy. Shout out to my guy, Brock, man. Thank you for being a pillar of the community um, and doing your motherfucking thing. Um, my second shout out is going to go up, man. Um, shit. Oh, I just lost my shit. I knew that was going to happen. As soon as I open that John News. Um, second shout out is going to go to my boy OJG Rizzo. You know what I mean? I, I missed the X's, but you know, he gets the point, man. Shout out my boy Rizzo, man. His link, he's a Twitch streamer, will be in the description. 
he's on the West Coast, so he does stream uh, on my time. It's kind of late, so um, I guess kind of early over there, technically. But yeah, he streams like late nights on the weekdays, weekends, whenever he can. Check him out, man. He's super dope. Um, my third I got for you is someone I should have gave a, po- a, a shout out on a podcast last week because it actually released on her birthday. And that shout out will go to IX Sweet Poison IX or XI, my fault. I apologize. It's going to be spelled correctly down in the description box for the podcast, video version, whatever. Make sure you check her out. She's a variety streamer. She's super dope. I mean, it's like my little sister in the streaming shit. I've known her for probably just as long as I've known Vitani. Um, super dope streamer. Make sure you check her out. Um, once again, pillar of the community, dog. Like, these are dope streamers that I'm trying to, you know, just put y'all on. Um, number fourth one I got for you is my homegirl, who changed the name. She's not rare hybrid anymore. She goes by the name of Crimson Wolf on Twitch. So that'll be... Um, Twitch.tv slash Crimson underscore Wolf X on Twitch. She just made a streaming debut this week. Make sure you check her out. Give her a follow. Um, support her content. I missed her first stream because she was just kind of random with it. And I, she didn't hit me up. And you know, we go way back. That's the homie, dog. That is literally like the homie. So make sure you. Bitch, I know. thought we were a homies. Shut up, Rambo. Um, so, I mean, make sure you go check her out. Um, my fifth, I think this is my fifth one. Um, I can't go any further with this list without shouting out this person. Very important person, black streamer. Um, literally like a mentor to me, the GOAT. I consider him the GOAT to the streaming shit. Um, he kind of gave me the blueprint. Um, and I've kind of like um, mimicked his stuff a little bit. You know, the way he presents himself and stuff like that i gotta give a shout out to the don prosperous 525 the don and make sure you check him out at twitch.tv slash prosperous 525 um he plays whatever the fuck he wants man he's he just all about setting the vibe being chill um again pillar of the community super motherfucking dope streamer um i appreciate him doing what he does man like i said um Makes me very happy when I see that man stream. Um, number six, I can't go any further without shouting out another person who is one of the most supportive people um, to me and my community with this streaming shit. I'm gonna give a shout out to Black Harley Q. You already knew. You already knew this was coming. She already knew this was coming. Twitch.tv slash Black, um, B-L-A-Q, Harley, like Harley Quinn, and then Q. Q U E. You know what I mean, check her out. She's playing a lot of Lost Ark right now. We'll get into that later on the podcast. We got to talk about that. But you know I mean, check her out. You know what I mean, nothing but love over there. Again, another pillar of the community. Um, dope black streamer. Got to show love. I can't go no further without giving to my boy the Tech Zone. Um, dope streamer. I ain't seen him in a while. I miss you, bro. He been doing his thing. But hopefully when he comes back to Twitch, you'll see a whole bunch of new followers. When you go follow him over at Twitch, his link will be in the bottom as well. And I got two more, and then we're done. I'm going to give a shout-out to E. Knight's arch nemesis, Catterdom. Catterdom. Uh, you know what I mean? Dude. At twitch.tv slash cat. It's spelled K-A-T-Y-R. D O M. Um, you got beef with Cat, my man. She, she's my second hit, right hand man. She, if I'm not around, she knows how to bother you and Vitani. I just found that out. Wow, yeah. it's almost like that's the reason I have beef. <laughs> nah, but she's super dope, super cool streamer. Um, I played Apex with her a couple times. We're gonna get back to that because I'm trying to make her a demon on that Apex shit. Yeah, you know I mean, make sure you check her out, man. Super duper dope, super duper dope. And my last shout out, last but not least, last but not least. And please don't get upset if you ain't make the list, dog. Like, like, there's so many of y'all to name. I just, I had to name like eight immediate people. Um, shout out my boy Poisonous Crow, man. I mean, I'm trying to get him up there. Um, again, his link 
will be down below in the description box, man. Super dope streamer. Um, you know, there's way more to name that I can name straight off the top of the dome. Um, the Fresh Prince of Philly, Enigma Gal, um, Momo Quest, uh, just a bunch of just dope people within the community. Um, but we just out here highlighting the black ones. And I ain't doing it on some crazy shit. I'm doing it because it's Black History Month, dog. I mean, I, I, just, I just got to, dog. I got to. But, you know what I mean? Make sure y'all go check them the fuck out, man. Give them a follow. Check them out, dog. Check them all out. Their, script, their, their shit will be at the bottom. You know what I mean? You dig? All right. Let's get into the meat of the podcast, the most important part. Hi, Vitani. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? It's time for your interview are you ready yeah i'm ready let's see if you get the job you know what i mean <laughs> just fyi batani is my uh nemesis too um she tried to kill me and fast no one trying to kill you bro shut up no one trying to kill you hit your ass there you got me hey, killed hey, in phasma no no shut up you got me killed are you are you batani are you rambo are you rambo of course I'm Rambo. I'm the one. you got clip. me killed. Yo, yo, I listen. Saw the clip. It was wild. It was wild. Listen, wild. Listen, Betrayal. Listen. Betrayal. Listen, I was your friends, bro. Listen, you and and you friends yeah. with my nemesis. I see how it is. No, no, no. There's a difference. It's on site now, bro. No, no, it's, it's not. It's it's on site. There's a difference, Enoch. No, uh, you know what? Let's not get get off topic. Enoch, all right, shut the fuck all right, up. All right, all right. Let's let's let's. let's Let's, let's, like tone, oh no. let's tone it in. Let's tone Jeez, it down. Jeez, my nemesis. Tone it down. My nemesis. Tone it down. Tone it down. Let's tone it down. Tone it down. Let's tone it down. Let's tone it down. Try to kill me in fast mode. So the first um, question we have for you for this interview, since um, Rambo is so obsessed with this <laughs> attempt on his life in phasmophobia, do you care to explain what you did to my man in phasmophobia? Yeah. Wow. Um, I will tell you what happened. We were playing Phasmophobia, and he had all the equipment on. He had to go into the house because he couldn't take the equipment, like the headset off. And when he got into the house, he just wouldn't go to the area that we needed him to go. So I got frustrated, and I tried to shut the door and entice the ghost to kill him. But the ghost was playing games. I will say I tried to eliminate the problem. And the easiest solution was to take out Rambo. Then the rest of us could figure it out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, Savage. a logical con- conclusion. Mm-hmm. But I he did it, kill E Knight first. Oh no, I did not, woman. I know you did not. Uh uh-uh. uh no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He had mm-hmm. one job. With no, E-Night. no, we got ambush. We got corner. E Knight. Listen, listen. I- I'm gonna tell y'all from experience with playing Seems Rambo. Seems okay. Good. Oh, I'm, gonna t- I'm gonna tell y'all from you're gonna, go, so you're gonna go against me on this shit. Go no, we're gonna, we gonna talk about Apex real quick. We're gonna talk about how this man <laughs> played Apex with me in a fucking legend, right? We just won a game, super sweaty. Yeah, you know I mean, I ended the game as a kill leader, like nine kills, nothing, nothing serious. You know what I mean, nothing serious. You know what I mean, but I'm nice like that. I mean, you know my body, you know my vibe. You know what I mean, we invite Rambo to play. You know I mean, he plays shooters all day. You know? He should get the concept to sh- shoot motherfuckers, but nah, you know. Rambo was just like, you know, I think the other team should win every time. So, that's, that's what he did. That's fine. So, I mean, that's what he does. Tony, you wasn't wrong like to do what you did. I'm glad no, you did. No, no, I've just, seen, I've seen Rambo. you flipping Phasma, look, Rambo. Look, look, you look, turned look. around and screamed, and I took the brunt. I took the look, brunt. Look, 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 I you detected you, you yo, and then instead yo. of running away, you 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 just stood there going, oh, listen, listen, and then got killed. Listen, I didn't know where I was at. I was scared as shit. It was dark as shit. And Batani said, Batani said last time I heard is like she's still hunting. I was like, she got e night and she was laughing at, in the fucking home base in the fucking truck, nice and softly and safe. Yeah, I might have to link. I might have to link the clip in the in the. Oh uh, yeah, it, it, it was is, hilarious. It was she's laughing clip. at you, freaking the fuck out. Yo, I, I ain't yeah. gonna fraud though. No, I, I laughed because I realized that Rambo was in a map that he's never been in, and he's all the way in the basement. Because I asked him, "How are you going to get out?" 
Yo, I, I didn't was... have a light either, so I couldn't go in. The funny part was that entire situation, she was localized in the basement and would not leave the basement. So no, she was not. <laughs> yeah, was yeah so she was, because every time we tried to get, get her to come out and test some shit, she wouldn't leave that area. We would hear her, but we wouldn't see yeah, her. She... Yeah, she, we went she, down there, and then you know you got me killed. So no, yeah. no, look, I didn't get you killed. You got yourself killed. All right. How, how did wait. I get myself killed? Yo, you sacrificed yourself for me. You told me drop the cross, and I yeah. dropped the fucking cross. You didn't listen, drop the cross. Jesus, you didn't drop the cross. You. you dropped listen, it after the fact, no, no, look, and listen, then listen. and Jesus then did not protect and you, right? then Jesus gave you and then and then no, you up, didn't even up, run up. out of the room. So no, my look. sacrifice was in vain. That is true. You, uh, listen, you if I, you should blame on Vitani. She's the one. I don't blame shit on Vitani. You know, of course, that's your fucking battle buddy <laughs> over there, you fucking asshole. This is my battle buddy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> my yeah, battle yeah. buddy. Yeah. 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 Eager play Halo. What you yeah. <laughs> I would not recommend playing with Vitani in Halo, but. Give yeah, her a sniper I, I rifle. She fucking dumb your ass. Anything else, she can't do shit. She, she cannot. She can't no, even no. drive. <laughs> oh God! All right, so no. let's continue on with this. Let's get, let's not drag this out. So, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, your first real question of the interview, because this ain't an interview. This is we're trying to get to know Tani, man. We're trying to highlight who I think and who I believe my co-host believe to be pillar of the streaming community. I mean, she helped kind of bring my group of people that I started streaming with and her group of people that she started streaming with together. We have. A nice little cool community right now, and it's just it's great to see things like that. So, you know, I want to just kind of give her a flowers while she's here and shit like that. And ask her, um, first question of the podcast is why is the Infernal Gaming Podcast the best podcast on the planet? Why is it? First, you would ask her that question. No, nah, I'm just playing. Tell me uh, why. Tell me. Oh, go ahead, answer. Shit. <laughs> I was wait, wait, gonna wait, say, wait, before you ask. Mm -hmm. Did you know Blaze got cream all over his face on his birthday? Yeah. Yeah, it was from me dragging my nuts from his chin down to his chest. You haven't heard? Oh, damn. So let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Everyone dragging nuts on Derek. Let's go. This is wild. It's not wild. No, but the real first question, of course, I got to ask you generic interview questions with my legs folded. I mean, even though you got the job and shit already. Why, why did you decide to become a streamer, Matani? Oh, okay. So, I actually decided to become a streamer to prove people wrong. And I wanted to be a streamer that was different. So, I became a faceless streamer. Mm. And my idol is actually Corp's husband because he's completely opposite of me with his darker voice and tone and stuff like that where mine's is very kind of light and airy so that Marge Simpson voice <laughs> yeah but, so, uh, <laughs> but um sneaky. huh sneaky very sneaky <laughs> but um yeah I became a face the streamer and I didn't want the attention nor I wanted to be a public figure just kind of like a voice for the streamer community and have my own privacy along with doing stuff that I love. And like Infernal said, my goal isn't just for me to grow, but to help people in our group and community um, grow as streamers. You know, everyone, you know, people of color, people who are shy, people who have OCD, people who are, you know, all types of things that make them anxious to do certain things in life, but they're good at playing video games or they just enjoy it. You don't gotta be good. Just having fun is enough for me. And I kind of wanted to become a streamer because of that. Wanted to play games with people and see where it gets us. Mm. Very good answer. Very good answer. I mean, I, I, um, I like that answer. I like that answer because a lot of people never start off while they're doing something that they love to prove someone wrong. Yeah. I mean, it's very admirable of you, but very uh. As far as the, our little community goes, a lot of people refer to you as the stream mom. So. Yeah, you you you're the stream mom that everybody call you, and I call you the, um, the killer, who sets no, me up. No one calls her that. Shut, 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 only I do. Shut up, be nice. Shut, shut, shut up. 
Shut up. <laughs> hey, yo ass in the Halo universe, you motherfucker. I didn't ask you to blast your ass in the ODS, the, the fucking Orbital Drop Shock Trooper pod. Did I not? Shut the fuck up. Sit. He said all was, that. He said all that when he could have just said ODS to you. Yo, I, 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 <laughs> I, I was going to say like o, OBST. Real OBST. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit, yo. I was like, wait, let me oh, fix man. that shit. <laughs> yo, yo I, I, man, man got a recording drop pod. <laughs> He's about to drop it from orbit to record some bullshit on his bullshit <laughs> ass like his, or his links. <laughs> shit, but um, how do you feel about our podcast? Like, you know, like you you mentioned, like you want to prove people wrong. What did you mean, like you want to prove people wrong in in a certain way? In your ideals, like for some of us, we. We like to, you know, stream and prove others wrong. Like, oh, hey, I want to prove people wrong. I'm not just also a gamer, but I'm also a, a fitness uh, athlete outside from gaming. Like, as you know, you guys follow me on my um, Instagram page. That's a good example for me to to explain myself. What did you mean by that? The you exact same thing you just said. So outside of this, <sighs> I'm actually a small actor. So Ooh. I personally... And told a lot of visual aspects about myself that I personally kind of like disagree with. I think that I can be a streamer without having to use my looks or use anything that remotely resolves around my image because I don't have an image crisis or anything like that. But when you're told a lot of times that, oh, you got here because of this or you did got here because you're a girl or because you're this, it kind of messes with you a little bit. So I kind of want to take that away from it and separate my acting, my nine to five and my streaming. And that is why I am kind of proving people wrong because a couple of my friends, some of them are streamers, some of them are not, were like, you'll do well with it because you play video games and you're really pretty. And it's like, I'm more than just that. And I'm not good at playing video games, really. I'm just pretty entertaining, I think. So I think that works for me. You, you, you know, that's interesting because I feel the same way where you're coming from. I get that a lot with my fellow gym mates that be saying, yo, I didn't know you do that. I'm like, yeah, I, I don't just be working out. I also stream. And they be like, really? I don't never see you do that. And I'm like, nah, y'all just never follow me on my other page. So I, I, I could relate where you're coming from on that's what's up though i i i I could actually agree where you're coming from not a lot of people would see that they only judge by our looks and that's Mm -hmm. same thing with blaze inferno and e knight like you can't always judge they they look at me and be like damn you too sexy to be playing video games yeah yeah they look at me and be like yo put danny devito back in yeah, man. Oh, you gotta chill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you gotta God. chill. All right, let's get into the second question. I mean, because we dragging this out. So, all right, we're gonna get into the real. We release this shit every two weeks, we're gonna, man. We're gonna, we're gonna get into the real nitty gritty of the interview. I mean, so what, how, Tiny, how, how are Tiny, he's like, come on, dog, come on, man. <laughs> hey, hey look, you're, you're, yo, yo, you're the one who and you say, yo, it's my birthday week. If y'all didn't come by, fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. Love me. I love y'all. Did you not? Or did that you made not no say sense. That? He said, love uh, me. Yeah, yeah. I love y'all. <laughs> yo, love I'm, me. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. What am I supposed to be doing? Yo, yo. I, I'm a little Help bit late me. Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, just at this Help me understand. <laughs> you know, you yeah, should yeah. ramble the type of person to be in danger and be like, help okay. yourself. Rambling <laughs> Rambo. Yo, yo, look, look, going look, look. I'm a little bit late right now. I had a... Crazy oh. shit happened last night, so I, I just need this little litness. So please, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll turn that shit, man. turn that shit down a little bit, and bring it to the you know the Saturday streams and shit. Where we stream, we get lit at eight p.m. EST every oh, motherfucking Lord. Saturday. Eight man, p.m. I, I, EST. Sometimes I want to go sleep on Saturday. Maybe you ever thought about that? That's corny. I mean, you anyway, can't go to sleep, I anyway, that. anyway. Shut let's up, continue on with the interview. You know I mean, please. interviews. Okay, Tanya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you a black woman? I am an African American woman. Okay. <laughs> so, being a streamer, have you experienced any type of discrimination being a black African American woman? 
Yes, of course. Um, you get people who are trolls. You get people who are um, just... How can I put it? Racist, I guess. You can just say it straight out like that. People come in and call you derogatory terms. Or, you know, even without that, it's still like... The algorithm isn't really, I don't think, in favor of African Americans like that because you don't see or hear them a lot. But it's slowly growing. I'm seeing the change in like the flip of the script a little bit. Mm. So, yeah, I think it's I think it's going well with that. I don't think that it has much to do with, um, you know, me as a a black woman i just think like people just see like oh black woman let's just throw some slurs out there and see how she feels about it mm. Mm. yeah i never no. really get that type of shit like just hey let's jump in some random person's streams they're just popping off some I bullshit mean, yeah it's meant to demean people and bring them down and bring their spirits down and, are they just sad because you know, they're not fit. streaming and that's what them they, they want to do it, it, it's clown season. man man it, it's people with fucking nothing to do with their fucking low life man. for example um actually i didn't see it so yesterday morning around seven o'clock um my mod messaged me and said there is something going on it's like my discord and my discord is very small so mm -hmm. I went in there and he was like, um, you need to give me, you know, the thing to mod everything so I can erase things when you're asleep because I sleep a lot. Yep. And I was like, oh, what is it? And when I hopped in, I saw that someone in there, um, I deleted him and everything, but put a bunch of racial slurs in there and it filled up the whole um, general and clips and highlights section. And I didn't realize it until like that morning so it happens it's just something that someone will randomly like i don't even know who the person is or how he got into the discord but he was in there and he did that so a friend from another friend probably invited him that happens it's hella corny man and like i said on numerous numerous episodes of the infernal game podcast we don't condone that racist shit over here man get the fuck out of here with that shit i don't care if you're racist towards any motherfucking any race any race that shit is that shit is mad corny it's played the fuck out stop the bullshit man people are just out out here trying to have fun and live their dreams dog leave this woman alone leave everybody else alone doing their thing you, you weird motherfuckers man that's all i got to say on that topic but but tiny I, how how is this how does this affect you does this make you like how does it make you feel when you go through these things well, um, hmm. Arrogant? <laughs> mm. I guess that's the best way to put it. I am able to bring out some anger in someone who doesn't know anything about me from a can of paint. They're upset about my skin. They're upset about my complexion when they've never even seen me. Mm. So I could say I'm black, but you would never know unless you'd be like... I knew it. See my pictures and out. stuff like that, but the, the truth came uh, out. The <laughs> truth came <laughs> out. The truth well, came out. Yo, Byron says you oh, ain't that black. Mm -hmm. Hold on, she said you don't even know she was black until you yeah. her page. Exactly. You'll see slight pictures of me, but nothing that shows my face, or <clears throat> I feel gives up too much of my identity. But the fact that you feel so disturbed by me that you feel like your words matter to disrupt my peace just gives me a little bit of cockiness i'm like okay well i don't feel upset now i don't feel hurt it's the way life's been for everyone for a very long time so i don't think it's going to change just because i feel some type of way if i i have to do something about it and that right now it's just not entertaining it and when i get big enough maybe try something different but as of now just not entertaining it because if i entertain it it's just going to make them do it worse and probably do it worse to someone else because they think oh okay so this is how i can affect them facts, and then facts, travel facts, it facts. facts so that actually is a good segue into the next question what are your goals um as a content creator streamer what, what are you what are you trying to accomplish what is the end game sleepy vitani what is what are you what do you what is the 
the I guess the precipice of to you're you're trying to get to um, by doing this. Is this just something that you you know it's just a hobby you do it from time to time or do you really see yourself doing this as something like you know a way to end the nine to five um, you know slave um, treatment. You know what I mean that goes on in America. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, honestly, I don't see this as a nine to five. I'm sorry, I normally put all my eggs into. Hmm, how can I put this? I don't normally entertain things that are fleeting. Mm. So when I said I was going to be a Twitch streamer, I meant it. I said I was going to be successful in Twitch streaming. I meant it, meaning. No matter how what age I become, no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to keep pushing to put out content and be my most authentic self. Um, I see this as an opportunity. I see it as I'm late to this opportunity, but nonetheless, it's an opportunity for me. It's something I love doing. I had endless support to do it when I was younger. I just didn't take that chance. One, we didn't have the upper like the resources to actually play video games and get paid like that you know what i mean i think yeah yeah, like youtube and no one really knew how to use youtube so when it comes to pushing out content and going for it at this moment i'm not going to stop and i feel like my end game at this point is to be in my house five bedrooms (laughs) two acres of land playing video games with four dogs and not having to leave my house to go to a nine to five job just being comfortably secluded in the mountains somewhere I feel that with great wi-fi oh (laughs) yeah that's the more important part great wi-fi yeah the wi-fi part might be a struggle in the mountains but very admirable uh, uh, very admirable goals man I appreciate that I mean again um, I met Vitani. Um, I'm gonna tell the story. Can I can I tell the story, Vitani? Can I tell the story? Of course. You know I mean, so Vitani liked my picture. I don't know how she liked my picture, but she liked my picture on Instagram. It's like something of like some video clip I was doing for Twitch or something. And you know, when people like my stuff, I usually like look at their page to see, like you know, I just. Like, you know, maybe we could do something, you know what I mean? Maybe we could follow each other and maybe play a game or two later on. Um, so I checked her page out. I was like, okay, I mean, you know, typical cozy streamer, you know, Stardew Valley post, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. You know what I mean? Ooh, here's my Nintendo Switch. You know what I mean? Gotta, gotta let y'all know I have a Nintendo Switch post. I'm like, all right. You know what I mean? Okay, let me check out the Twitch. I check out the Twitch. I'm like, all right. Seems pretty cool. You know what I mean? Slid up in her DMs like, yo, man, followed you. You seem like a dope streamer. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? She was like, thanks, followed you back. Maybe like a week later, she was like, yo, you want to play Among Us? Now, if you know me, up until that point, I literally only played like first person shooters and, you know, some like RPG games. So I never played Among Us on stream, but I wasn't against it. So I was like, yeah, you know, I got some people I can bring out to that stream and we can vibe we can do the thing whatever good time to network you know i mean she said it's gonna be a bunch of different streamers so i'm like bet you know i mean we might get some followers out of it might meet some dope people you know what i mean so we did it um it was probably one of the best streams i had at that point um it's very successful and i feel like ever since that motherfucking point me and vatani just been kind of attached to the hip like we just always try to play shit together plan things out together um, she's kind of like my personal assistant with the streaming shit. When I have an issue or I have a problem and I don't know what I want to do, I kind of come to her and she kind of helps me out with it. And it's, you know, super dope um, to have her around um, for that type of thing. And, you know, she's expressed these goals to me a hundred thousand times and she wants to be, you know, she wants to do this full time, man. So, you know, support her, show her some love. Um, she's kind of like I said she's like the, you know and I said it she's like the stream mom make sure everybody's okay um, checks on everybody within the community shit, things she like that. that up 
She set up and she be setting up Rambo's bitch ass, but he be selling games with Apex, so we don't give a fuck, dog. Like, we don't shut give up. a shut fuck. Up. Up. Yo, you, you, you don't want... Come here, Blaze. Take this nuts in your mouth and shut dog. the fuck up. Oh, my Come God, God man. Shit. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. That is some sub shit. I'm waiting. See? You got a whole line waiting. I'll be the first and last. There you go. First and last. So, no. Vatani, my, my fourth question to you. So why do you suck at every game you play? <laughs> oh my god! Why do I suck? Okay. That's a I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Chill, <laughs> chill. <laughs> she knows no, actually, how to shuffle now. Actually, yeah. actually, mm -hmm. she's actually, learned some advanced yeah. movement. She calls yeah. shuffle. She calls strafing shuffling. I don't know why. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny as hell, but why you call it? Because shuffling? she doesn't actually strafe. She shuffles. Like you do the shuffle, like. Hey, it's you move back, it reminds really, me. back and forth real, real quick. Shuffling Vitani. Shuffling Vitani. <laughs> the shuffle dance. All these titles. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Um, we got Sleepy Vitani, Shuffling Vitani. Freaking Camper Vitani, Murder Dream Mom Vitani. Vitani. So, another question I have is, you know, can I just tell, you know, the audience what type of games you play what do you play and um yeah just tell us what you play what, what kind of games do you play mm -hmm. i get addicted to games very easily so i usually play games like stardew valley or well in the beginning but recently i've been playing a lot of first person shooter games and if you know i am horrible at them i'm going to start playing fighting games now that I kind of figured out the PS4 situation, so Ooh, okay. Um, probably by like the beginning of like next month, I think I should be able to play some fighting games. So what does that mean? It means you can take an L. Another one v one event. <laughs> she is gonna fuck you up in a fighting Listen. game. We've been talking about this forever, dog. She cannot beat me in Injustice 2 and Street Fighter 4. I refuse to lose in <laughs> Street Fighter 4. It is a fuck like nah, dog. I nah. mean, you could it, it, you mind if I add this uh, a little bit to it, uh, Blaze? I mean, you did get your ass. It, uh, don't worry, it, 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 it's it's nuts it's in your not, mouth. Yeah, it, don't worry. It, it, well, he always gonna have nuts in his mouth. What the fuck? I mean, you did get your ass kicked about oh, ten God. years ago when we were playing Street Fighter. It wasn't by me, it was somebody else that we were friends with when we were at that comic book what, store. Chris? Yeah. Of Chris course. Chris, Chris, Chris and my boy James, shout out my boy James, by Shout out my boy, man. Are shout the only out to two... Chris and James. Yeah, Good they're shit. the only two people that can beat me in Street Fighter, respectfully. Yeah, respectfully. in that comic book store, man. As of now. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We're gonna set, we're gonna, you hear that, listeners? We're gonna set that shit up. It's going. Yeah, it's, so, it's, 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 it's going down. Yeah. Going you, down. You, you, here it is. He's gonna have nuts in his mouth while he's gonna get his ass whooped. So Vitani, please, listeners, do not listen to Rambo, dog. Like he just, <laughs> we don't even know why he's here at this point, dog. <laughs> Shit, I am too lit, motherfucker. Why, why did we allow this to happen? Listen, 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 please. Can I just this podcast please? is a fucking mess, dog. <laughs> Yo, I swear. Every week, every week we just get on here and just be a fucking mess, dog. It's like we got everything planned out. It's like somebody puts everything on the table and just shuffles it all around. It's like, all right, well, we gonna do something with this shit. Like, hey man. But now I got one more question, and then I'll let y'all ask or whatever y'all want, and we can get on to the rest of the podcast. My last question, I got two two questions for you. My last question, one of my last questions. What are your favorite games of all time? Let us know. Okay. What are two two games, two games if you were stranded on an island, you know what I mean, with the respective console that you need to play them on in a TV, what would be those two games? Okay. All right. Give me a second. This is the hardest question of my life. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, this is your only easy shit for me. Only pick two? Okay. I will give you three. 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 Okay. Um, the 10 64, James Bond, um, that game. Goldeneye? 
Yep. So, that game is so yep. basic, man. It's okay. classic. Yo, yo, it's classic. It's you know it's better than you know it's better than going on not to cut you off. You know it's better mm-hmm. than Night Fire, dog. Night Fire was so much better than than Golden Eye, dog. And I would die on that hill. You know what I mean? This is what we do on the Infernal Gaming Podcast. We talk that shit. I'm talking that shit right now, you know what I mean? Alright. Continue for time. <laughs> um, PlayStation 2, Kaya Dark uh Lineage, 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 That's, yeah, okay, yeah, lineage, yeah. yeah, and um, oh my gosh, Pokemon Crystal, I'm gonna die on that rock. Pokemon hey! <laughs> That's a fucking. Yo, that's a fucking very good one, though. That's my favorite Pokemon game. Bro. Oh, and Emerald. Okay, that's four. Pokemon Emerald. It has yeah, to be Crystal Emerald and Emerald. Good. Yeah, that's E Knight's favorite. I love the Hoenn generation. Yeah, but Crystal mm-hmm. version? Yo, yeah, when you got to play as a girl for the first time, oh my God, I was like, what? I got to play as a little blue haired girl, you know what I mean? Leave me alone, y'all. I was like 11 years old, maybe not even 11. <laughs> I was probably like not. I was probably like eight years old. Seven years old. Leave me alone. I mean, it was late. And I named her Crystal. That's crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? I would have never guessed you did that. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good three, technically four games. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then my last question for you is, this one's weird. But you know, we got to add, you know, every interview has this question. You know what I mean? They all, they got to have this question. What is one piece of advice you would give to another black African American female streamer if they were just starting today what is a piece just starting today what is what is what, you know every interview's got this question oh, Joe, oh, what Joe do? what would Joe do the first step so why do you want to be part of the Infernal Gaming Podcast? Like, you know, like okay. cause I need a job. Like, what the fuck are you talking? I hate when you go to an interview and they're like, so why do you want to work for us? Cause bitch, like, it's it's expensive out here, man. I got bills to pay. Like, let's go, dog. You know what I mean, but go ahead. <laughs> for interviews, that's I'm empathetic. So I like working with people every time. But for a new streamer, the first step to streaming. It's just doing it. And I think the more you overthink it, the more excuses you make to not do it. It doesn't matter about the equipment. The equipment matters, okay? Trash that. It matters, but it doesn't matter. It's you putting out content and slowly building up on your equipment. Don't do it like I did. I just went out, said, you know what? I'm going to be a streamer and bought it all the same day. Like everything from computer, mic, headset, nine keyboards for no reason she got money it was all the same oh, day me up the all <laughs> the same day how much did you spend if you if you mind me asking i spent about max three to four three to four thousand grand jeez yeah and Whoa. the thing is i didn't know what i was doing because all i did was have a planner i knew the date i wanted to stream the game i wanted to stream the amount of followers I want to make. I had goals that I would set for my calendar for each month until the end of the year. And then I just made sure to accomplish that, which I did. I did accomplish all my goals before January, which I'm very grateful for. But don't let some, you know, high tech dude in Micro Center lead you around saying, you need that, you need that, you need that. Oh, yeah. Do your. That's a, uh, you know. Yeah, do your research. I knew what mic I wanted because he wanted me to get the HyperX. I was like, no, because I knew what I wanted to do with myself. So I got the mic I wanted and everything. Don't worry about what you need. Just put it out there and let it just flourish on its own. Have the personality, have the, you know, you don't got to be good at video games. You can just have a great personality. People, I'm not good at video games. <laughs> Well, not you are, you're this is facts. This is facts. This you, is very you're, facts. You're, you're good at camping. Nah, and nah, she, your she, whole team kill. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm playing with her. She's trash at fighting games. You, you I'm great out, at fighting games. But... For FPS, not so much. But I have a great personality. And network. 
you'll meet people like Inferno, Enid, and Rambo, which will help your personality shine and help their personality shine. And you're not only just making a really good connection and great content, but you're making a great friend. So Rambo is a friend of me, you know, in any type of scary game, that right there is content. Me and him arguing all the time. It's natural at this point. (laughs) It's literally just a complete... Yeah. enemy at this point Enite, he's very considerate so whenever i'm playing a scary game recently he's been betraying me betraying you he left me out there to die yeah, yeah. last night yeah. yeah usually he'll say like okay you can hide i'll go handle it no not recently no, recently no, no. No, no. this time this time you you, you take a nail on this i died <laughs> first every time inferno very also considerate he's the type of person who will constantly check on you and I, I definitely need to be checked on because I don't know what I'm doing half the time so find people that compliment you network and just do it just put yourself out there and don't be afraid of you know making mistakes because that's what we're doing there's no kind of like rule book to streaming everyone just did it and it worked for them but what works for them might not work for you so just do it Mistakes equal content. We'll get Rambo. Literally. Damn. Damn. So so you two trying to gangbang me over here? Nah, come on, man. Case in point. Like, no, nah, but no, some yeah, real shit. Yeah, you're trying to game. <laughs> on some real shit, Vitani speaking all facts. When I first started streaming, I had nothing but a motherfucking PS4 and a goddamn dream. You know what I mean? Um, I started May 7th or 8th. I don't know what day. It was in May last year. Um, it's almost been a year. And now I have a motherfucking, very expensive motherfucking PC, a PS5, an Xbox Series S, um, a Nintendo Switch. Well, I had the the Series S in the Switch when I first started. I had all the consoles already. Um, I just needed a PC. Now I got PC. And like I told y'all, that shit's just all right. It's all right. But Warzone is fucking fire on PC, dawg. I don't I don't know how the fuck y'all play that shit on consoles, dawg. Boy, that shit's crazy. But, I mean, I'm getting off track on that. Yeah. I definitely set goals, too. Because yeah, I started yeah, in yeah. August. I knew in my planner how many followers I wanted by a certain date, how much videos I wanted to put out, what games I wanted to put out, and where I wanted to be by the end of the year. And actually, with Inferno, I think I met my goals all around October and November. So it wasn't a huge, you know, goal, but it was what I wanted to accomplish. So from August to November, I completed everything. Just that guy. I'm just that guy. You know I, mean? I mean, it was with him, you know, not I'm just that. That's what I do. I mean, yeah. that's, I mean, star power, you know what I mean? Too litty, too litty, too litty, too litty. Nah, but she, like I said, all fat, man. Make sure you not, I mean, like I said, I had a shitty mic and a fucking PS4, and I just determined to do something, and I did shit, and I made it work until I could upgrade. I turned a PS4 into a PS5, and then I got a um, Elgato, connected it to my MacBook to just make shit look prettier, and then now I got a motherfucking nice-ass PC um, to play the same games I play on playstation so it's lit you know what i mean it's lit you know what i mean and definitely network like she said you know what i mean slide in some people's dms you know what i mean say hey i'll play together you. you know what i mean exactly or, or you can do that you know what i mean I was, I was, you know i do other things i slide in dms i'm like yo oh. what's up with you and they'd be like, oh my God, it's, it's Daddy Inferno. What is he going to do? And I'm just like, chill. I'm just trying to play a game with you, you know what I mean? And they'd be like, oh, 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 my fault. I gave you a follow, though. And I'd be like, bet. And we never play games. But, nah, I'll be lying. I mean, I try to integrate everybody within um, our community because in the end of the day, it is our community. And you can actually find that link in the description for the podcast. It should say Discord. Join the Discord today. Super lit. We be doing shit up in here. We party every motherfucking weekend. I'm lit. Um, it's just, again, like I tell everybody when I set up these events, it's a perfect time for y'all to network and meet cool people 
and brainstorm content and just, you know, maybe get that confidence boost that you need. You know what I mean? So Vatani gave excellent advice to any streamer. You know what I mean, to any streamer, that's all excellent advice. You know what I mean? Just do it. Just do it. Do you guys have any questions for Sleepy Vatani before we move into the news article section because she will be reviewing the news articles with us week. and we do have a little bit to talk about yeah. some shit went down you know what I mean yeah I do I'm getting my revenge Batani <laughs> you could have let it slide when we first met through Among Us my man is lit dog did you did, did no one else hear that <laughs> motherfucking Blur like shit. Nobody <laughs> else. I'm gonna get my. Yo, like, feel the power. Yo, this drink I made is strong as shit, man. Like I said, I, 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 I don't want to jump into it, but yeah, I'm getting my pay. I'm getting my revenge on you, Matani. I, I see how it is on Phasmo. I see how it is. These oh. stars, though. I actually dedicated my emote to Rambo and a few others called my villain arc because you guys definitely bring out the villain side of me in Among Us and oh, Phasmophobia. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Are, are you, wait, 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 remember wait, wait, that. Are you, still, are, are you still mad about that? The first no. Time Among Us? Because I got you back. No, because, no, no, no. Let, let's, bring this out. let's bring this out Tani, now. Because Tani's a, Tani. Tani's a piece of shit, dog. <laughs> Yo, she is. She is. She's a piece of shit. I had to walk my like, dog. She said, I'm going to walk my dog. I'm like, all right, no problem. I'm doing tasks, and I literally see her walk over and kill me. I'm like, wow, we doing this now? And we then walk lying. back to the same spot. Walk right back to the same spot. I was like, dog, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is genius. But at the same time, you I was ready to. I was yeah, I was ready to I was ready to slide. Yeah, you know I mean I was ready to slide. <laughs> I'm not that Rizzo ruined it though. I was trying to stack what, all the bodies. Tiny over here, like yo, it's Rambo. He's the imposter. I'm like yo, how does she fucking know? I, she's like yo, it's all you. I'm like you know what? Fuck out of here because I know Batani and Cat was coming at my neck throughout the whole game when we first met. And I was like yo, I was heated. I was like uh uh-uh, uh, I ain't letting y'all play me like that. The moment I uh, Vatani say, "Yo, it's Rambo, it's Rambo," I'm like, "Yeah, I killed her right in front of everyone." <laughs> Petty mm-hmm. shit. Petty shit. You still got yeah. that? So, clip? you got do that? Y'all ha- do y'all have any? Uh, I do. I clipped it for you. Hey. Do y'all have any uh, questions? Yes, that I do. I do. That that aren't you, serious questions. That you're not gonna. That you're not gonna slur on. No, no, I got serious questions. She might slur on this one, Vatani. What's your favorite alcoholic beverage? Ooh. Ooh. Wine. Um, what kind of wine? Time. I do like Stella Rose Black. It's my favorite <laughs> wine. You like the black one. You Why? didn't like the other one. Why you oh like yeah, yeah, one? yeah. The black one's lit. The red, the red one. The black one blacked me the fuck out. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oof. She told you to buy that. The black one is good. The any other Stella Rose is kind of like an acquired taste. Um, I like it because for it being a red wine. It is very sweet, but it also kind of sneaks up on you if you're not used to it. Like so, how sweet are we talking about? Like it tastes it. like a dessert wine almost. Mm, okay. So it's not like that bitter wine, which is like two glasses in, I'm like, all right, it's too much. But the black is very sweet for it being a red wine. Um, any other alcohol drink? I normally drink Jim Bean or Hennessy. I don't drink light liquor just because. Um, Wait, you drink whiskey? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't really drink like light liquor because oh. that kind of like makes me uh, a little too honest. So I stay away from that. Ooh, too honest. The real uh, Vitani. Yeah. Oh, the real Vitani. <laughs> stay the real tuned Vitani. for the next podcast where we interview drunk Vitani. <laughs> We should definitely do that. Have a, oh drunk, gosh. a drunk podcast. I don't know, man. Because I, that's I, pretty I, I don't know. This is gonna be know. terrible. This is gonna be Rambo <laughs> freaking the fuck out about anything and everything that we. Rambo gonna be like, you know what, guys? <laughs> Y'all are always making fun of me on the podcast. I just want to tear fucking. <laughs> Just shoot the hell out of all of y'all. I want a hug. 
<laughs> but at the same time, I want love to me, it. love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's gonna be the title of this podcast. Love me, love, love, me, love you, <laughs> and nuts on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> love me, love you. <laughs> Yo. That so, made no sense, dog. Right? Yeah. Yo, I'm over here cracking the fuck up. Like, like that is he was like, that is facts. Love me, love you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Chill, yeah, Vitani yeah. be drinking that wine with me on Saturdays at 8 p.m. EST over on Twitch, man. So make sure you come and vibe with us, man. Bring your own liquor, man. I mean BYOB to the stream. It'd be late. You know what I mean? And sometimes she gets a little too goddamn late. <laughs> God and it's damn, just man. like, it's Does just it? like, what the fuck? And then sometimes I get too late. You know what I mean? And I forget that like, I'm streaming. I, I forget that I'm streaming. I just get to go doing stuff. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just you go just outside dip and go out for a and walk. Then fucking like, we're <laughs> yeah. panicking. We're like, oh shit, this man passed out. Yeah, then everybody. And he's like just fun. like at the like the fucking Olive Garden gobbling up breadsticks and shit. Real shit. The whole time I'm outside training with Goku and shit. Like what the fuck? Man, going through a whole training arc. I be out here wild. You know what I mean? But yeah, but that's why we call it two litty strings. I mean, it's just it's just it's just too much, man. Too much, too much. It's too much. So y'all got any more questions for Vitani before we get into the? I guess podcast, podcast. I, uh, I, I think I got a serious question. Like, what do you want uh, the community that we we have right now, that we we got right now as we speak? What do you want to see more out of it? Like, when you want to see people to achieve, what what you want to make out of it right now as we speak? Like, just what you want to try to achieve. That's what I'm trying to say. With the community, like with everyone. Mm-hmm. Besides trying to kill me, of course. You know. <laughs> That's the ultimate goal, though. Shut up. I want to one day go on Twitch and see on Rising Rambo, E Night 17, Blaze X Inferno, Mr. Gundar, um, uh, Catterdome, Poisonous Crow, and see 2K of followers and see 100 people watching y'all stream. And me being washed out in the stream because now there's so many people talking in it and you can't keep up with just me anymore. You gotta keep up with everyone else. I think that is what I wanna see in the community that we're in. I wanna see the growth. I wanna be I wanna be washed out in the chat. I want to see a lot of subs and bits for no reason. Just because you guys are talking or not even really playing the game or something. I wanna see y'all succeed and I want to succeed with you guys. I might not have 2K, I might have 500. I might have 1K, I might have 200 followers, but I'm happy with everyone else's success because I'm confident in myself and I know I'll catch up. Facts, facts, facts. Mm -hmm. Me and Tani been like neck and neck for a little bit now. <laughs> you finally came forward though. You kind of got ahead of me a little bit. I'll catch up. And I want you to because like just like she said that's what I want for everybody within the community man I just want everybody to just tap into that hidden potential and just be the best content creator they can be for their community and all types of you know good shit except for Rambo dog like alright so if we're doing yeah, that yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah Rambo yeah, and Cat yeah. and fuck them that's crazy damn y'all you're coming at me and Cat yeah, Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on wax. I'm gonna put it on wax. I the think fuck? I think Cat is gonna be the best out the group one day. Damn, he is gonna be coming on camera soon. I think. Oh shit, we'll get to see four what she months. Looks. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Hey. That's if her PC can handle it. I mean, yeah, that's her. She has a camera. She just needs the PC, I guess. Well, she needs a stronger PC that can handle everything. Like she's putting that gaming PC through too much work. It's yeah, so have you ever been in my streams before and you hear something that sounds like an active um, explosive device? Yeah, probably it's, cat. Yeah, it's cat's computer. Yeah, that shit. Going through. Screaming. It's dying. It's going through it. Needs help. That joint sound, sound like my PS4 when I was playing John Warzone. John smoking and sending smoke <laughs> signals. 
signals. That should be like, please turn me the fuck off, man. Like, <laughs> and my suffering. Uh, I cannot handle the phasmophobia anymore. Oh, man. Shout the cat, man. But yeah, um, great interview. 10 out of 10. Um, Tani's dope as hell. Make sure you check her out. Um, stay tuned to the end of the podcast because we do have a, a, a very special announcement. Guinness, where the fuck did you come from, though? Hey, little giddy, giddy. This man just jumped on the table. He's like, yo. Just like, what's up, pops? Call All right. Me. So let's get into the meat of the podcast. Let's 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 get to our regular shit. Thank you again, Vitani, for letting us interview you, um, make fun of you for a little bit, tell you that mm-hmm. you are going to get your ass beat in um, Stop Street killing. Fighter 4. Um, and I Rambo said a lot of such shit. Me saying sus? No, you enjoyed the sus. Okay. I don't, I don't think anybody. So into our articles for the or news for the week, we got three articles, but they're honestly kind of thick with a bunch of C's, um, because it's kind of like a it's a, a conversation within a conversation. So I'm gonna start with the first one, which is very easy. Um, Cyberpunk, they made yeah. an announcement yesterday. The next gen version is out. I did not get the plate yet. I was supposed to try it out this morning, and I ended up going out to eat breakfast instead. So probably after the stream, I will probably try out the PS5 version to see if it is streamable, honestly, because some people been was asking me in my stream last night, saying I should stream it. And I was thinking like, hey, I like the game. Can you even beat it? Let me, let me stream it. Yeah, it's got streamer mode, so. No, no, no. I mean, streamer mode didn't work when it came out, so hopefully they fixed that. But did you beat it when you got it for PS4? Yeah, yeah, of course. It was... It was okay. It was a, a fucking mission and a half. I probably experienced somewhere like 30 crashes. Um, 30 crashes? Jesus, man. Yeah, I went through playing it on the PS4. I played the... And I said this on a podcast before. I played the most... The least optimized version of Cyberpunk. Yeah. And I still had a great time. I had a bad time, but I had a great time because the game is good. It just didn't work. You know what I mean? So hopefully it works now and I can enjoy it and I can sing its praises like people still weirdly do. Um, I don't think this affects E Knight because he's like apparently PC Master Race, even though. No, that John sucked ass on PC too. <laughs> It, it, it just it was ain't. less of an ass and experience than what was on console. Batani, have you ever played or heard of Cyberpunk 2077? I have heard of Cyberpunk and I have never played it, but I know people who played it and they would definitely tell me like it would crash on them or their something wouldn't save or something like that. So Yeah, it was a it was it was a mess. Hopefully it's good. Uh, we ain't gonna talk about it too much because I feel like we talked about Cyberpunk way too goddamn much on the early days of the podcast. But it's nice to see that they finally came out with the next gen version. Um, hopefully, we get some DLC. Hopefully, the game is optimized. Hopefully, because again, I think everybody would agree that there's a good game underneath the shit, um, and we just all want to play that good game. You know what I mean. It's definitely going to be a decent game when everything works, but yeah. I unfortunately, you know, I'm, I'm kind of done with the series. I said, fuck that shit. Is- it's not even fuck that shit. It's just like the, it's like one of those things where you get through a game, you slog through a game and you go, I don't want to do that again. I think I want to do it again, though. Hey, Why? that's you. I don't want to do it again. I Why? played my experience. I was kind of disappointed by some of the game mechanics with the without, you know, like factoring the bugs, like some of the game mechanics were kind of shallow and it sucks. Uh and a lot of things that they advertise us being able to do were just not able to not be done. There. Yeah. And it's kind of a lifeless city in Night City. But, you know, they've been working on it to improve it for everybody else and hopefully they achieve that goal and they add content to it that makes it more enriching but right now i'm i'm gonna play their last good game uh maybe on stream uh witcher 
after I get through uh, this new game I'm planning on streaming tomorrow. That's an old game, but it's a new game for the stream. Um, what was it? I'm gonna ask you something. You know, why you feel like you? Why you're not gonna give it a second chance? Now I haven't played Cyberpunk yet, but you wanna give it a second chance to give it a try? You know, after the bad experience when it came out. It's. You, you, you sure you don't? You sure you don't want to give it a try? I mean, like, you never know. You might come across. Well, like, first of all, this update is for consoles. Second of all, the content has barely changed at all since release. Thanks. Um, I don't know if any of the fixes, because last I heard, the fixes they added to Cyberpunk just broke the game, game even more. more yeah. uh, I don't really? know. I don't know the state of the game. I also don't have enough space on my SSD to put in another large game, because that thing was pretty massive. I was like 70. Hell days. yeah! I had to delete like two games off my PS5 for this shit. So. Right? It's it's not a not a second. I'll I'll go back to it when there's like a major expansion or if they release a sequel. But as far as like oh here's a minor update that fixes this, I'm not gonna replay the whole game to find out what that is. Yeah, I I, I feel I feel him on that. I'm like that with a lot of games. I kind of clear it once and just never go back to it. And it's not like it was a bad game. It was just one of those, th- like kind of like um, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Like that's a game I literally beat one time and was just like, yeah. okay, and I was another, done with it. Yeah, it's another game that I was like, you know, I'm not gonna get the DLC because I don't. I like the combat, but everything else I, I wasn't too much of a fan of. Yeah, that's the Sony effect for you. That is literally you the Sony one? effect. No, the I I was actually talking about it on stream last night. The Sony effect is basically they make these really good games yeah. that that focus on one core mechanic that yeah. you do the entire game. Yeah. So it's like by the 20, 30 hours you 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 done did it a thousand times, yeah. you're just kind of tired of it. Like I tell yeah. people, like Ghost of Shim is a very good game, but you literally do the same mechanics over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's the same thing, same concept over and over again last of us 2 same thing over and over solve a puzzle get to a new area do some shit yeah. i mean sony effect that's what they call it. god of war god of war is plagued with that shit is they it? try to make it feel like a yeah they try to make it feel like a cat a metroidvania game when in reality it's very um the path is very clear and you could do some side exploring but it's not like as big as you think it is. Mm-hmm. So again, Sony effect, you literally do the same thing. Throw the ax a thousand times, beat a dude up a thousand times, choke a dude a thousand times. It's the same shit, same shit, same shit. But yeah, we ain't gonna spend too much time on Cyberpunk. I mean, if you wanna play it, you wanna play it on next gen, it's here. Um, and hopefully on the next podcast, we will have a thorough review of that. Cause I heard it was having some problems on PS5. I ain't gonna lie. Now? Yeah, I heard. I heard the update kind of fucked some shit up on PS5, but it runs great on Xbox Series X. But that's always been the thing since the beginning, that it ran okay on the Xbox. It ran really good on the PC, and then it was just dog shit on PS4. So we'll just see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But let's move into the next article, man, which is something we can all talk about. Except for maybe Rambo, because he ain't played. Mm. So, I'm feeling... last week, or February 11th, we all had the opportunity to play a game that has been taking Twitch, YouTube, and Steam by storm. Mm-hmm. It's called Lost Ark. Um... It actually had 1.3 concurrent players on Steam, making it the highest player count um, Steam has ever had. And I forget what the other game was. I think it was New World or some shit. I forget what the last game was, but now it's Lost Start. Um, Atani, you like MMOs. Mm-hmm. You played Lost Start. I did. Give an honest opinion of how you felt. Be brutally honest. Tell tell the viewers how you felt. Um, for some background knowledge, Vitani's told me she is a Guild Wars player. 
So going from Guild Wars to this, um, with some pros, with some cons. Okay, so it's very much like Diablo a little bit, but I feel like as an MMO, it is lacking. I feel like a lot of people are hyping it up just because it's like a new MMO more than like actually being a good MMO. Not saying it's bad. The customer, the character customization is lacking because you can't do much with it. Like mm -hmm. it's nice how you can change the hair and stuff like that, but like if you play Ion or you play Guild Wars or something else, you could do a little bit more with the facial and body structure and tall, short, thick, small, where you can't do that with um, Lost Ark. You kind of just stuck looking like everyone else and with a thousand people playing it, someone's bound to look like you. Hmm. Like very, it's gonna be more common than you think. Yep. And the grind in it, the mechanics of the grind and the camera movements, I hate it so much. I don't like that the camera, I sometimes looking at her feet as she's running, sometimes like I can't control it. It's kind of like, it's following however it wants to follow. Where like, in other MMOs, you can kind of move the camera to match where your character is and where you want to see her from. And you're kind of just, just grinding. And I'm not really a huge um, into grinding games that much, even though the MMO is like, that's like their core bases. I like, I would like to have more story and you can have different paths of where you want to go with your story. And it doesn't do that. When I expected mm -hmm. Lost Ark, I expected a more better version of Guild War 2 because Guild Wars 2 has a lot of story base, a lot of, you know, grinding, a lot of character customization, a lot of opportunities and different tasks you can do to make the game entertaining and a lot of DLCs. But with Lost Ark, there's no need for DLCs because if they were pushing forward with it, then they would have already had everything, you know, needed in the game. Like, you know, Black Desert and all that other stuff. Those are really good MMOs. For what they you know for what they were used for and care to conversation again and story base where this one not so much to me mm. Mm. those are all I'll good play points it, no those are all really think... those are really all good valid points honestly i yeah. agree on a lot of those things but i'm gonna let e knight take the floor before i get my um my little mini review out because i did put a, a lot of hours in this i probably put like 20 hours in so i feel like i can kind of give you a, a thorough opinion um but you know, like, go ahead so i mean i pretty much agree mostly with Vita uh vitani's points here on lost ark but i also want to add that um while it feels like diablo like the combat is pretty cool like it's i'm not gonna lie classes are cool i like the fact that you can customize your certain move sets and go into detail with like each and every move set and you can do all that but it's like also ge like generic so it's not it's not like you know oh i want to spec more into ice for my gunslinger i want to it, it's either i have an ice option or i don't or I have a fire option or I don't like the move sets are predetermined and you get like three three choices and then you go from there all right it feels more like it's a mobile mobile MMO like it's meant for your phone um it's isometric apparently there's crafting and stuff but I don't see it being a thing really that's like as complicated or fleshed out like Elder Scrolls crafting or like uh new worlds craft crafting before it got you know nuked into the ground um there's well, there's i like the pvp element to it but that's about it mm. stories generic korean story for anyone that's ever played a korean mmo i've played a few i played like arc age and other shit the story is very generic it's not crazy you're often not the main character. It's usually you're helping the main character or there's a specific story they're trying to tell. Yeah. And then there's 
you know, your hook mechanic. And I think the hook mechanic on this is the fact that you can sail around in a boat. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I, th like, I think so, too. There's sailing or some shit. Yeah, there's a lot of mechanics in here, and they're all done pretty okay. They're not, like, this is one of the games where it's like, nothing's broken. And it's already been out for two years prior in Korea. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as me, uh, uh, this is not my forever MMO. Like, I've played Elder Scrolls Online. I've played a bit of WoW. I've played New World. I've played Guild Wars 2. I've played RuneScape, so you understand that I am, I've am i grinded. I've grinded in, in MMOs master before. Master Woodcutter. Right Ma here. Not even master a Master Woodcutter right yet, and it's been 10 years since I started, so... That that's a that's it's this is not the game for me. If you guys like this game, that's great. But it's not it's not my MMO. Um, I was disappointed the fact that it's like Diablo, but the the loot that you receive is very minimal and yeah, it's not really rewarding to do dungeons. Um, you only get like up to two times you can earn rewards, and then after that you're just playing for the gameplay Fun. yeah you do and, normal and then hard and then, yeah. yeah that's about it um the dungeons themselves the few that i've played are okay not you know super complex there's a few traps but you often just match up with people if you're matchmaking and not playing with people on your level match make you just match up with people who are already like max level they spreeze through this shit so it makes it the experience a little bit less like you, you don't even have to focus on what you're doing. You just like I literally spent like two seconds fighting one guy, and then all three of my party members who are max level just like we're already halfway done the dungeon. Yeah. I was like, oh shit! All right, I gotta catch up. Like you, you get left behind so easily, um, which is you know something that happens in MMOs. But it's like it's weird that I match make with people who are already maxed out. I guess they're grinding for a set or something. Yeah. Uh, as yeah, so pretty much, um, there's also this weird battle pass thing, subscription that they have to subscribe to to get most of the features. Oh, it's a the free power to play. pass. Yeah, it's a free to play MMO. So I figured there was going to be some kind of sub base thing, like RuneScape has its members only skills and shit. Um, I don't like it, but I know if some people are content playing this game a lot the that it'll probably be worth their investment but you know again not for me um go, glad that a game has actually come out in this year that isn't buggy and broken but unfortunately it's not the game for me mm. five out of ten mm. Mm. he gave a full review i guess i will do the same okay I should check Steam before I just start blurting out. I played this amount of. Well, you definitely played it longer than I have. Yeah, I, I definitely. Mean, this, this is I more of an initial it. impressions. Getting into the dungeon thing, I think you know this is an old MMO RPG yeah. game, but I think Maple Story is even better at it than. With the dungeons, hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. hell I yeah. I think the dungeons and I think the classes that you can go through. I did a little bit how... better. I didn't like how it made you pick one of the three specializations already off the bat. I was off like, off the oh, bat, yeah. yeah you I get was to gonna... like try them for two seconds. And then I mean, like... they changed it though. So now you can, as you get further into the game, you can choose which way you want to go. Um, no, I, it makes me pick either Gunslinger or. Nah, she's talking about Maple Story. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm talking Maple about Lost Ark. Oh yeah. yeah, that that's what I was like bringing up is like it's so weird. I'm not used to being. Is off. Okay, yeah. so I'll add to this conversation by saying this: I played a lot of MMOs, about the same as E Night. I haven't played New World yet because I just kind of heard New World kind of fell off. So I was like, when it came out, it was fun. Now it's just busted all hell for no reason. Um, okay. Yeah, so I wouldn't and recommend why, buying it yet until they yeah. fix a lot of shit. Um, I put a lot of time into this game. I was wrecking, um, by another streamer, Shaw Black Harley. Um, and I kind of seen this game being like a wave 
I mean, so I was like, mm, maybe this might be something to jump on. Um, I don't really like to ride wave, especially with Twitch. I kind of want to do my own thing. But if it's a wave that I actually am riding, then I'm going to ride the wave. So I took the chance. I downloaded the game. Um, I played it. I created a Shadow Hunter class thing. Um, I actually agree with both Vitani and Enoch. It is a very generic free-to-play MMO. Um, plays like Diablo. Um, I think the thing that I can say is a, 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 a plus is the combat is really good. I like how you can kind of... You can kind of create the build that you, like, that you want to play. So if you want to be like a DPS-type character... You can do that, and then later on you can change, like, and respect things and be like, all right, I kind of want to be like a range support in a sense. I, it's complicated, but if you play it, it makes sense. Um, but e Knight knows this. I usually play these games. And I said this on stream last night um, for the PvP. Mm -hmm. I literally play these games. MMOs are only – if you're an a MMO player that plays for the story – I feel bad for you sometimes because a lot of stories are just never that interesting. They're just meant to grind out so you right. can just but do what on you got to do. On that note, Guild Wars 2 and WoW especially are very story -based. That's true. WoW is, WoW's got a pretty good story. I can't really speak on Guild Wars 2 because I never really played it. Give it a um, try when you give it a chance. But I was saying this on stream last night. Um, I'm a big Elder Scrolls fan. so. ESO, I thought, was going to be my forever MMO. And what kind of pissed me off about ESO was they did, like, a lot of retconning with the, with the lore. Um, oh, they didn't retcon anything. It's just separated lore, and it's kind of dumb. Oh, oh shit. My my bad. Yeah. yeah. So separated lore. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I think the game is decent. And I agree with both Vitani and E Knight on every point that they made. I, the camera does annoy me sometimes. The dungeons are kind of lackluster. Even though I did hear they do get a lot better um, the later you get in the game. So I heard once you get to like level 20, the entire game changes. It's just like PvP opens up, um, the story gets a lot better, the dungeons get a lot better, the loot gets a tad bit better i don't like the loot i agree with e knight like it just you pick up something and it's literally looks the same as the last thing you wore mm -hmm. so it's like uh because you know Perfect. mmos are all about trying to get dripped the fuck out like you're trying to be swagged out so you start with no swag and then your your goal is to get more swag you know what i mean um I'm going to hold all judgment until I actually get into the PvP. Like, I'm, like, again, I feel like everybody plays MMOs for the PvP. I feel like that's the end goal. PvP, raids, dungeons. Um, so I'm going to wait until I can really get into PvP. Maybe do something um, with the guild. Do something with Harley's guild. Um, but I, I enjoy it. It's like fun. To grind out, I think it's it's not bad to grind out. Um, some of the quests are sort of interesting. It's just the dialogue and the story. Press G to skip. That's literally what I do. I just <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. I, I tried to get into the story, and then a purple dude showed up, half dressed, and a, and and the priest dude showed up, and they had a fight. Dude? Oh shit! Batani's starting to sweat. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and then I was like, okay, cool. Uh, now what's going on? Well, we have to stop the banished. I'm like, what? We have to find the Ark. And I was like, this is Halo. Yeah, man. Um, like I said, I'm going to wait on Lost Ark. I enjoy it. It's free to play, so you ain't, you, you're not missing out on anything if you just download it, try it. You don't like it, you delete it. Yeah, I mean, it is. It is a 70 gig download. So make sure. Yeah, it's kind of a thick boy. And thick like board. Rainbow Six Siege, it takes an hour to launch it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a thick boy. So, thick yeah, 
Um, probably gonna uninstall it after this podcast, to be honest, just to clear up space for other shit I want to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I it it's good. It's definitely fun to play with friends because y'all can duel each other and stuff and have one v ones. Um, but yeah, it's it's just not an MMO for everybody. Uh, right now the reviews on it are mixed, but that is because of European remove or servers were like uh, downed and fused with the U.S. servers because they're trying to add more servers. Because I guess they didn't anticipate it to be this popular. Yeah, that um, first day was a fucking mess, dog. Yeah, I, this is why I'm just like, unless it's a game I really want to play and that's multiplayer, like Halo Infinite, I really don't just try wait, to play man. day one. Just wait. Yeah, I'm not worried about catching up or anything like that. Okay, so we got one last article, and we're getting pretty close to our two to two hours in, and we got a lot to talk about here. So, Lost Ark, um, Atani, E Knight gave it a thumbs down. I'm giving it a neutral thumb for right now. It's not I a think... thumbs down for me. It's just, it's the same thing. It's neutral. It's five. A five isn't a thumbs down. It's just yeah, yeah, average. yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think. Like I said, once I get to the PvP, I'll see if I like it. If not, I'm going to just play RuneScape again because RuneScape has the best PvP of all of all time. Yo, of that's all time. The most craziest PvP, man. You can uh, click on a motherfucker and you might hit him. Or he might hit you for fucking 72. <laughs> <laughs> you might cast a spell and it might work or it might fail. That motherfucker might hit you with some crazy shit. Uh, oh, shit. Shout out RuneScape to OG. All right, let's get into a Nintendo Direct for my birthday, man. It was, it was a nice little birthday gift. Nintendo was like, yo, I heard you want some some games for your Switch that aren't Pokemon. We got you. Metroid Prime 4? Nah, they actually didn't show that. Well, they, they, showed, they showed a Kirby game, which... You know, the, Kirby, the, the Kirby kids were hype about that. I ain't gonna lie. And all the memes. That shit has been hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw the memes. Um, we're getting Xenoblade Chronicles 3. A lot of people are hype about that because Xenoblade Chronicles is, under, you know, people liked it. Second one was dope. I didn't play it yet, but it was dope. That's, which one is the one where you get a giant robot? That might be the first one on the Wii U or the okay yeah um but they announced that in september they came with the games the games i mean because you know as microsoft and sony are over here just buying everything up nintendo's just over here like we're just gonna i more games it's funny as shit you say that because microsoft buying game publishers that actually produce games and sony buys bungie or bungie that only has produced this one game (laughs) yeah to, and to all the people who assume that Halo is coming to PlayStation 4. Yeah, I didn't understand that. I was like, um, where is the correlation? They, where the fuck is the correlation? So the console wars are a raging again. And the fucking Sony people are like, yo, Bungie made Halo. Therefore, Sony owns Halo. I was like, that's not how IPs work, my guy. <laughs> I was like, dog. I was like, if what that's is how going it worked, on? Why didn't uh, Destiny already be on Halo? I, I mean, Halo already be on Sony because Destiny's a multi-plat. And, yeah, none of that shit makes sense, man. And th- no, they, a lot of these people are just ill-informed or just not that smart about doing research. But, um, yeah, they bought Bungie and their game's already going to stay multi-plat, at least Destiny 2. I don't know if they'll make anything new. Uh, but it's not like anything would change because Destiny and Destiny 2 have always had exclusive content for Sony. They've had a partnership like that for a while. So this just gives them a bit more resources to make content. Thanks. Uh, um, so yeah. PS5 barely has any games right now, so I don't know what the fuck. They coming. They coming. I'm they coming. waiting. They coming tomorrow. Shit, we get fucking Horizon Forbidden West comes out tomorrow. It's like that and God of War 2, right? Yup, I'm hyped. And what That's else? enough right there. That's it's like 80 hours of, of, of game right there. I mean, yeah, they're they're big single player 
games, but I want to know what is Sony doing on the multiplayer market? How are you going to get me to buy a PlayStation 5 when, you know, a uh, majority of the games that I forgot to buy are now coming out on Steam? This is facts. Like, what is... And, and that's another thing. That's an actual interesting topic. I don't know if you want to get too deep into it, but um, Let's go. is Sony going to pull a Microsoft start day one releases on PC? Uh, probably not. We talked about this on the last podcast. We literally talked about this. Oh, did we? I, I oh, told you, I, I think, recall. I think Sony is trying to go the Apple route and they're trying to keep people within their ecosystem. Whereas Microsoft, because I said this on the last podcast, they're going to do the Android, just be more open source. Yeah. They got, they got their, 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 their software is already on every PC. Windows yeah. is already on every PC. Yeah. So they already have their foot on PC. So it's like you buy a PC, it's still Microsoft. You buy an Xbox, it's still Microsoft. You right. might as well give you games on both platform fronts. wise though. They still yeah. a lot of people are buying it through Steam or Epic Game Store. So this is true. This is true. This but is... I feel like with then with Sony, they are trying to create a ecosystem and they want to keep they're so buying it for the brand game. and not for the content. Gotcha. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, I, it's just uh, like Apple. Like you, you they want to get you in the ecosystem to keep you there. I want you to buy that thousand dollar phone so that battery can die in a month. Yeah, it's facts, 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 facts. So back to the Nintendo shit. Good, good news. Track. We got a lot of good news. We got Xenoblade Three. I said coming in September. Some um, Kirby shit. Splatoon Three coming this oh, summer. Shit. That's dope. Splatoon 2 is super dope. Um, I've yet to play any of them, but they look fun. Super fun, dog. Highly recommend. Even if if you're not a shooter person, it's a perfect game because it's very noob friendly, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because the the goal isn't even essentially to like kill other players. It's, it's the like pain of everything, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's it's kind of dope. But Tani would like it. Tani would actually like platoon too i can see her shuffling in the corner you know painting the ground you know what i mean not Damn. leaving the spawn you might have to play it it's right up your alley <laughs> so splatoon 3 this summer um the best game that they announced probably game of the year game of the century game of the decade game of the the eon game game of ever mm -hmm. we're getting a fucking Nintendo Switch Sports. Yeah, you know I mean. Oh, are we? Yes, sir. Dude, I'd actually buy that. It like, launches April 29th. Let's go. It's gonna be fucking late. The only thing that I'm worried about is I do believe it is a sixty dollar price tag on it. And that kind of hurts because why? I feel like there's like six games on it, dog. Like there's hours of gameplay on there. But sixty dollars, man. For 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 reference, all right. We sports came out for free mm -hmm. on every Wii. Yeah. I'm just saying, this well, could have been was, a. That was on the Wii, and they were trying to get people into the motion sensing technology. So that was the smartest decision they made. I guess. I guess. All right. If, all right they all could right. have forced you to buy it. I mean, like, here's the worst part. All right. It was free on every Wii, but GameStop still try to like charge you ten or fifteen bucks to buy it from them. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> this, That's this is it's 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 Wii Sports. It's not a state like motion sense technology is not a huge staple on the Switch. It's you know. It's definitely it's definitely gonna be lit. The parties are like gonna, gonna be lit. It's gonna be like as long as they have Wii Bowling and Wii Boxing. Yeah, yeah of and course they got. I, I think. Hold up, I can do an overview. Look, because I know there's um, uh, tennis, soccer, badminton, volleyball, and bowling. Um, yeah. Sword, sword. It looks like we're getting some like swords again. We're getting the swords. Fencing thing again. Oh, we didn't have that and we won, so that's uh, cool. Um, but well, yeah, that's gonna be dope. It's mini, it's like a Mario party, right? It's all a bunch of mini sports game. It's meant that for fun and stuff. Speaking the value of Mario sports games, Mario Strikers. 
Oh Jim my was god. Shit. How do you feel about that? I don't feel any type of way towards it, honestly. That's crazy. I've never played any of them, and I don't intend to. How about No Man's Sky on the Switch? I have No Man's Sky on PC, and it'll probably run better. This is... When I saw that, I was like, yo, Nintendo is bold as shit to put... I mean, graphically, No Man's Sky is not ambitious, but there's a lot of shit going on. In there's a game. lot of shit going the fuck on, dog. That switch going to turn into fucking cat's PC real fast. God damn. I hope. I actually do hope that, like, they're not planning on releasing a new console. I would rather buy a more powerful switch, honestly. I don't think that's going to happen, dog. And no. I'm going to tell you why I don't think Nintendo is going to do that. Because Nintendo has never been about power, dog. They've never been about power. They had literally five different versions of the 3DS, and they were all the same. Mm -hmm. Just the last three had a fucking a, a joystick. That was literally it. The last three had a joystick. So, with that being said, I think Nintendo could give two fucks about how powerful the games are they just want it to run smoothly even if it's got to run at 30 fucking frames per second they don't give a fuck you know what I mean so there's that mm -hmm. um, we got Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes arrives in June I am totally picking this up alright it's Dynasty Warriors with Fire Emblem Three houses skin. Super dope. Um, we're getting Advanced Wars 1 and 2 reboot. It's actually launching April 8th. That's dope. Um, e Night, you love those games back in the day. How you that sounds cool. I might check it out. Yeah, but that's $60 price tag. Uh, you, you gotta like $60 for games that you want to play isn't a bad thing. It's sixty dollars for games that charge you more money after the fact. Mm. That's that's the worst thing. It's like I paid sixty dollars for a game that's not fully done, and they got a shit ton of microtransactions. Okay, that's true. So like, if it's a game you're gonna have a lot of fun with, don't worry about it too much. I mean, Fair. obviously, money's important, but don't sit here and like, oh, well, it's not a sixty dollar experience. What is a sixty dollar experience? Because that varies person to person. It does. It does. Like I'll right. pay, I'll drop sixty bucks for fucking Skyrim back in the day. That's a sixty dollar experience. But so was fucking uh, what's it called, Pokemon, Arceus, and it's got nowhere near the same levels of content as Skyrim. This is facts. So Arceus is late. It's it's a subjective thing. It is for me. I always I always go by the, this rule of thumb. I feel like if I'm paying $60 for a game there needs to be two things that go into it length of mm -hmm. the game and the quality of the game mm -hmm. and they can be flip floppy like the game can be super short but the quality of it and the replay but like let's take a game like Resident Evil Village that's a game you can beat literally like 7-8 hours right Yeah. but the replayability for it is pretty low pretty high what the fuck are you talking about resident evil village a linear story game pause yeah but it's resident evil if you know anything about resident evil games, are you talking about like hunting secrets and stuff yeah like they're meant to like resident evil games are literally meant to be played over and over and right. over and over again that's that's cool and all but you could say the same shit about any ubisoft game ever uh... Replayability does not necessarily mean it's like uh, automatically going to earn that $60 spot in my eyes. Like Halo Infinite's campaign has a lot of replayability. I'm just saying as an example of a game that I love. It's a good you game. You need to do a challenge every time. Every time e Take a shot when I Halo. mention Halo. Yes. <laughs> but as an example, it's a game that I can find a lot of replayability on fact, based on the gameplay fact. because the gameplay itself is dynamic 
Whereas in it's Resident Evil, it's a pretty long game. It's a pretty long. It is. It is long, but Resident Evil is like more of a linear experience. You're still gonna fight the same boss. Still gonna do this, that, and the third. The the way you engage enemies aren't gonna change that much. Until you get that infinite ammo, boy. Yeah, and then there's also the fact, like I mentioned, in Ubisoft games because they have a bunch of sixty dollar open world games with a shit ton of content. Most of that content is kind of fucking boring to do. Yeah. When you, would you like to replay Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, after you beat it? Beat it. I'm a, hard, I'm a I'm a hard pass on that. Exactly my point. Like replayability is important, but in, in the context of like single player shit it's not usually like skyrim's a replayable game based on the fact that you change your class i'm just saying it's a replayable game it's a special case you bought it 16 times at full price yes sir (laughs) if you could get it on your smart fridge you would i'm just saying replayability it it might be see this man feeding him already i'm just saying in general replayability does not necessarily uh equate to value um you can replay the same game a thousand times you're not going to have the same experience as you did the first time um skyrim and and certain certain open world games may vary so like skyrim is like you can change your class you don't have to be the warrior you can be the mage or you mix and match and the choices in that game change too so you can choose to destroy the Dark Brotherhood or join them. You can choose to side with the Stormcloaks or the uh, fucking Imperials. You can choose to kill Parthenax, but why would you do that, you evil bastard? Um, yeah, if you my... did that, dog, stop watching the podcast <laughs> and go outside and... Rethink nah, your life gonna... choices. Yeah, I was going to say some wild shit, but nah. But, nah. but that's what I'm saying. If we're, like, we're comparing Resident Evil to... Games all like right, that. all right, all right. I get it. I get it. But as the quality experience of Resident Evil's story and the fact that it's a horror game, um, you do get a sixty dollars experience out of that. Facts, facts, facts. Because it... I think, I think, like I said, it's quality and time. So what I try to go for when I buy a game for sixty dollars is, am I gonna at least get twenty to thirty hours out of it? Mm-hmm. Like if I can play twenty to thirty hours out of it, which is the bar is extremely low. Yeah. That is a very low bar. Like that's why I buy Call of Duty games. Yeah. Day one, because I'm getting that yeah, in the first month. It. Yeah. Yeah. But um, like, and that also <laughs> takes to the thing where some games go like, oh, um, like Anthem has like an artificial time gate in the game. Like some games will have built-in time gates, like uh, to true. keep you busy, to extend the amount of time. Like when Dying Light was bragging about 500 hours. I is mean, it really 500 hours? Is it really 500 hours, or did they just artificially extend the storyline? Do so. Well, that's a, that's the Ubisoft effect. Yeah. That's that's the that's the that's real Ubisoft. Yeah, that's effect. what I'm saying. Like that's why I say I don't I don't think they I don't think they have replayability because I feel like Ubisoft games they do if, if you per, like this is why I also said this kind of subjective subjective. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I see. If you're into that type of thing, like maybe you went through Odyssey's just did the main story and did none of the side quests and then the second playthrough you could do the, all the side quests. Yeah. And I know yeah. Odyssey and newer Assassin's Creed games have some choice variations. Hell not, yeah. Not to the crazy extent that Skyrim did or any nah, other. No, they they Odyssey has some crazy like like some crazy shit in it like odyssey has some crazy shit in it right but i'm just saying like on a, on an average experience from an ubisoft style game open world single player rpg you don't you don't really want to slog through it a second time around this is fact games like dark souls for example linear boss fighting experience there are some off beaten paths to explore but it's similar to Skyrim in respect that your build can change. And you can make different choices with NPCs. Hell, you can just kill every NPC you ever meet. Just straight up murder them. Fuck up the whole story. Like, your value and quality with these games are gonna be very different. I'm gonna stop talking because I kind of went on a bit of a tangent there. 
No, it's all good. It's all good. You did your thing. You did your thing. Um, just to kind of wrap up this Nintendo thing, um, we got Kirby. I mean, Let's we go. got Portal. We got Portal One and Two coming to the Switch. Um, Mario Kart Eight is getting DLC, which is lit. And then Metroid Dread is getting a um, a, a rookie mode, so I can beat the game. Wait, <laughs> Shit. They added an easy mode to Dread. They added an easy mode and a one shot. Oh my god! It's called Dread Mode. So yeah. Oh my god! I beat it once. I'm good. It was a hard game, but I enjoyed it. I can't wait to turn that rookie mode on, boy. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> Just I can't play wait, boy. You kill everything in one shot. Yeah, this is, this game was pretty good. <laughs> Best motherfucking Metroid game ever. Um, how do you feel about this? Um. Rambo Vitani. I know we've been leaving you guys out they should as for it. Um I know Rambo doesn't have a switch, so he ain't gotta say shit. But Vitani, I know you got a switch. Do you wanna you think about picking up any of these games? Yeah. Um well you said Splatoon is very fun. Oh Splatoon, I'm sorry. So I'm probably gonna get that. And of course I'm gonna get Kirby. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I gotta grab that one. You really like Kirby like that? I am a Kirby fan. I believe that games were like what? Game Boy Color or Advance or something like that in the beginning? Nightmare in Dreamland? Yeah. That joint crazy. That definitely was one of the Kirby games I missed out on. That, I don't think you did. I think I let you play. You, you let me play it, but I didn't play it, play it. You know what I mean? That joint was crazy, bro. That was like. That is like a forgotten gem. Like, I feel like people. People never give Kirby like the love that Tell he deserves. Tell me when Nintendo re-releases Geist, I will cop that immediately. It's not happening, dog. Bro, I beat that game. That game was fucking awesome. That I'm game so is mad. that game is like needs to be saved in a fucking. They just need to put that shit in a museum. That was like one of the sleeper hits that GameCube ever Listen, released and that is one of the most so random of purchases of my life that i ever and bought. it was so it, like we're talking about like 60 dollar value and shit like this is a 60 dollar game and own price tag it had a wild ass single player story mode you got to be a ghost you got to possess people yeah, there was that crazy was super boss ambitious by. for its time super and then ambitious. on top of that it had multiplayer. It had local multiplayer that was fun as shit. Fun as fuck, dog. Oh my that was, god. That was great as fuck. I bring back Geist, man. Holy shit. Let me see. I'm about to look at it up and see if it's on Steam. Oh shit, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about it until just now. Alright, I'm trying to see. Steam, we're trying to play Geist. Who made this game? Who made Geist? Is the studio still around? Probably not. Um, End Space. Yeah, they they gone. They yeah. gone as fuck. This game came out in 2005. If you never heard of Geist, go watch somebody fucking play it um, on YouTube. It is like... It is the best. It is the best single player. Not It's not even horror. It's just like... That game scared the shit out of me, but I was a pussy as a kid, so... It is really cool. I it's, was literally got a little, tiny as a it, kid. It, it was it is ahead of <laughs> curve in terms of like game mechanics and stuff. Man, that uh, shit terrified me. The rain. Yeah, the ghost scared girl. Me. I was scared as fuck. I was like, mom. Oh Yo, shit! And, it, and it's an, it's like an arena shooter too, which was like it's just a plus. Like you just you possess a dude. He had a specific class, and then you'd use him to do stuff and. Then we depossessed him. You had to like, or he died. You had to get out of there, otherwise you would get like, you get murked by other ghosts and shit. I don't know. It was it was got an interesting story. Yeah, that that game was way ahead of its time. Oh, like way ahead of its time. And I feel like Nintendo was just doing some weird shit with it. They're like, yeah, we'll let you make. And it was just, I don't think they it was developed it. Yeah, it's it, it's owned by Nintendo. Yeah, they published it. Mm -hmm. They but need the developer to developer was end space, which this... is technically them. Yeah, so they need they need to uh, they need to release it. This is this is a gem. I don't know who led the wait the uh, designer was Andrew Paseki. I don't know. And they actually came out with other fucking games. Yeah, shit. 
I mean, I can see that. Damn, they worked on uh, GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Fucking Call of Duty fucking Modern Warfare, the original. Cold War. Holy shit. They knew what the fuck they were doing, dog. <laughs> Shout out to Geist, man. Go look that shit up. Go look that shit up after you listen to this podcast. Person. And rated five stars. It was a decent Spotify game. Shit. But yeah. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we're like literally at the two hour mark. I think this was a good podcast. It was a good episode. Um, Vitani, you did very good. Um, Thank you. You're welcome to come on the show anytime. Um, and I did have a slight announcement to make at the end of this podcast. Mm-hmm. I think I wrote it down. Let me hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm prepared. Unprepared as fuck. I'm coming, right. bro. Bow. Starving. Get my shit. Thirsty. Let me get my shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So. Episode 30. Episode 30 of the Infernal Gaming Podcast is going to be live on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Are you going to re it to uh, YouTube after? YouTube and um, Spotify and all that. Yeah, I'm going to just rip the audio and shit because I know how to do that shit because MacBook boy, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, so... Episode 30 of the Infernal Gaming Podcast is supposed to drop Monday, um, April 4th. It'll actually be happening April Fool's Day. Um, we're going to record it that Friday, probably late night, maybe like 9 o'clock at night. Um, and I'll be streaming it live on my Twitch channel. Um, and this will be the first ever that we've done of this kind of podcast. You'll be able to um, access questions, uh, interact with the conversation. Um, we're going to have a tiny there kind of moderate things like chat and, you know, all types of things like that. And it should just be a good time and kind of put some people on the podcast that just kind of don't know what we do over here. And what we do is just talk about games and make fun of Rambo and stuff. That's all we do. That's literally this podcast. We make fun of Rambo's mic. Um... E Knight talks about Halo. Yep. Um, I get really loud. And yeah, that's it. So April 1st, come on out. Um, it's a live podcast, man. That's it. That's that's really all I got to tell y'all, man. That's all I got for episode seven. Unless y'all want to add something to the conversation. Um, that's all I got. Um, the next episode of the Infernal Gaming Podcast will be um releasing uh, March 7th and I'm gonna let y'all know right now it's a, so if you're not in the music shit you can skip that one there's a lot of people that are so we gotta do it and we haven't done it in a while so I wanna get back to that talk about some music with my boy Warren and my boy Bird we're gonna be doing our motherfucking thing over there um, so tune in to that um, and that's all the announcements I got man so do y'all have anything y'all wanna add E Knight, Vitani, Rambo. Yeah. Um, so, remember to always season your chicken. Yes. Especially on Black History Month. Especially on Black History Month. All right, Rambo, I'm muted as my fuck. Ew. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what the fuck was this man doing? Yeah, he's, I, he's I was just, yo, I'm just chilling and laid back. This man said, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm like listening to y'all. Nah, we done, like, we done, yeah, we done. Let me see your, we see closing statement. Oh, yeah. Lay's talking about my mic, but his mouth is going to be full of my nuts in his face. Bro, yo, this podcast is out of pocket again. Shit, every time you make fun of me, man, just know my nuts is going to be in your face. Tony, you got anything to add to this? 
Let's see, is it seasoned chicken? Oh, make sure to cook your steak with red wine. Eh, that sounds good. This is a new technique that I have yet to master. Why you <laughs> cooking red wine? Wow. And slap your mama seasoning is real, guys. Don't let Infernal tell you otherwise. Right. I've That's never right. seen that shit right. in my I life. I sent though. a slap picture to him. That's right, everybody on this podcast, picture. if your mom don't season your food, slap her. No, don't do that. <laughs> Vitani Wild... Unfollow her on Twitch immediately. <laughs> nah. Nah. And you know that motherfucker that unfollowed unfollow me a couple months ago? You still a bitch. You know what I mean? What the fuck? I hope you, I hope you know that. Whoever unfollowed me on last night, I also feel that way. <laughs> Wait, somebody unfollowed you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. Yo, <laughs> That's crazy, dog. I slap the shit. I slap and I know exactly you. who did it too. I see you, okay? Oh, it's who was he? No, I'm not gonna put him on blast. Damn. Put him on blast. Damn, damn, no. damn. You, you putting me on blast? He yeah. not. Hold up, yo. Shut your oh, man. Man. <laughs> Rambo literally oh. woke up and chose violence. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, <laughs> yo, yo. Yo. Yo, yo, listen, you know, I'm about to smack the shit out of you with this Carolina tequila right now. Breaking up. Yo, shut You're the fuck up. You're shut breaking up. up. Shut up. My man's got to let the next tell chirp go, dog. You got to let that joint go. You got you to gotta stop talking trash. Oh, man. No, I choose violence. If you, if my man got a next tell. My violence. man is over here recording a podcast on a next tell chirp. <laughs> Tell him something. Yeah, guys. Oh, 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 oh. He's editing on like a fucking Mac 99. Real shit. This motherfucker on the same computer they fucking used in World War Two. Damn, man. that's a whole goddamn Dude, actually, name. Actually, I, I got your mom's computer, man. That's yeah. crazy, dog. Yeah, it's over. That's home. crazy. Some IBM shit. All right, my closing statement for this podcast will be: Boy, it's your closing statement. Awkward pause. That's what. Yeah, it was. like. Well, <laughs> I don't get it. Seriously, man, just close your. No, I was just, I was just checking to see if y'all still here. Yeah, I mean, y'all probably. Like, we are still here. You no, I'm ass. talking about the listener. I ain't talking about you, bitch. I don't care if you still here, man. I'm oh damn, you fuck. Go. You don't want your listeners. I love Rambo. Shout out to Rambo. Shout out to E Knight. Thank there. you to our special guest, Tiny, for coming through, being super dope. Being a fucking vibe, like you always are. You know what you do. You know Socials I mean? down below in the description. Please that's, subscribe that's right. and follow and do all the stuff that we ask. And, please, uh, dog. Your please, friends, family, yeah. your dog, your mailman, your please, man. Real tell shit, all them dog. about the Inferno Gaming Podcast. Show us love, you fuckers. Dog, I hate my job. I'm trying to like do this shit kind of full time. Maybe one we, day. We, I don't we, know. We love you Maybe guys, we'll bro. get on G4 one day. Make it a little oh, bit yeah. better than it was. Don't get yo, this man Rambo yo, started, yo, yo. dog. <laughs> Every time you bring the G4 yo, shit G4, up, man? he's like, oh, he's, up, he's like, he's like, what if, what shut if we up, were up, on? Shut up, Blaze. Where is our contract? G4 yo, man's mind is just It's just noise. Back man, it sounds like you're going through a tunnel in the highway. Contract. How the fuck y'all came back from the dead? But my, man's Mike, track, man. my man's Mike. My man's Mike is going to the moon, dog. Oh my god! Like, where's the contract? I don't even know what he's Where's the contract, yo? Shit, I am too lit right now, man. Let, let me Rambo, your mic, your mic is, is. Oh shit, I am too lit right now. Let's, I, let's, let's end it oh, here. Let's just end it here. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Blaze Inferno. I apologize for the issue. We had an issue with our audio. Um, towards the end, it seemed like the recording software that we're using um, it's had like a kind of an issue. It was fucking with Rambo's mic. It was messing with my mic, E Knight's mic. So um, I just got to do the closing by myself um, post podcast. Um, thank you guys for coming out, watching the show, supporting us. Um, shout out to my co-host E Knight Rambo. Thank you guys for coming out, um, and also thank you to our special guest Sleepy Vitani um, for coming through, letting us interview her, ask her some questions. Um, all of her links, including mine and my co-host, and the eight people that I shouted out 
in the newest podcast will be down below. Um, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you share this podcast um, with your friends. Also, if you're on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please make sure you rate the podcast five stars. It helps us out, helps us get noticed, you know, get some exposure, stuff like that. We work really hard over here um, to just kind of do this for you guys every two weeks. Um, and I hope you enjoy because we got a lot more coming. And I'll see you guys in, well, I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Infernal Gaming Podcast. Thank you, guys.